a business with me series. Today is another exciting day. I've been implementing a few morning habits to help kind of kickstart my day at a higher vibration because a few weeks ago I was not having the best time of my life. I was feeling very stressed and anxious and therefore I had a mental breakdown. So I was like, you know what? Two years ago, I used to do these daily habits and those made was I was able to manifest so much money in my life. I was doing good, I was less stressed and I somehow over the past two years forgot to do them consistently. That's probably why my life has been previously going downhill in the past but now we're just erasing that I'm a newborn baby I am literally just every circumstances that has happened in my in the past it's literally gone I'm a brand new baby I have no limiting beliefs I have no stress no worries I'm a newborn baby literally I only commit that 15 to 20 minutes max daily to do these daily habits so it doesn't take too long honestly the first tip is to make sure you get a good night's sleep so when you wake up you don't feel stressed and rushed so you have time to do the morning habits for me i woke up did a five minute guided meditation i say guided because it's just so much easier than trying to meditate with no thoughts in your head because i've done them in the past and i've fallen right back to sleep so just do a guided meditation they usually talk give you affirmations and lift you up for having a wonderful day after that i wake up i just do my daily routine like brushing tea, exercising a bit because I had time today to do that if you're in a rush, just go straight away meditation and journaling and I only journal about 5-10 minutes a day and it's the same thing every single day I write down 5 things I'm grateful for and also I script a tiny bit of basically what I want the day to happen to be like I literally script my manifestations in the present tense just in gratitude as well so those are what I've done recently and I've just been praying a lot, giving thanks to God a lot as well throughout the day. I'm trying to turn my thoughts from negative to positive. So that's the day. I feel very inspired this morning. I have a lot of things I want to do today because of my motivation and inspiration and because I have a lot of energy as well. I want to take some new photos of my... I swear every single video I always do the, like a little photo shoot, but I never post these photos, so I'm going to try to post them as well. First, posting everything on social media, like my business and my personal TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, out of the way. Second, we're going to do another Nailux photo shoot, and thirdly, we're going to prepare some content for my other business. Yes, I have two side hustles. I have a nail business and an art business. And I have not been doing anything for my art business for the past like three months. So I'm gonna try and stop posting for that for the TikTok again as well. So Honestly, so cold last night, literally freezing. Today, I am so lazy in getting ready. I don't feel like putting makeup on, but I did put on contacts. And we are currently editing some videos. We're also playing Hong Kong Style because the new update came out on my iPad. So here's the setup right now. I'm playing Hong Kong Style on my iPad and then I'm just doing some editing. straight into the tea last week i got <coughs> i got hit with like the worst flu ever it was so bad i was literally in bed rest for like three four days on the third day i was getting really worried because i kept getting a very high temperature and it, i wasn't really getting better but luckily on the fourth day i started to get better so that was pretty good but like yeah, literally the whole week was gone. 
because I got so sick from the flu. It's been two weeks since I filmed the video of me being sick of everything in my life. And safe to say, I've kind of implemented some new habits into my life. I'm trying to put myself in a better mindset. So for just my business, my life in general, and I can 100% say that I feel so much more better. I feel so much more happier, relaxed, stress-free. And yeah, I'm just more at peace and just very excited for the day to come and very excited for all the things i do in life now which is such a great switch in mindset compared to what i was like three weeks ago <clears throat> even though i was so fast this week has definitely i feel so much more better anyways i added some bows to my hair so i literally just filmed some videos for my tiktok i am committing to posting twice a day for my business because I really want it to grow, especially in followers, because I'm reached a thousand followers. So I can switch to the creator account for my business and just plan what I need to film in order to have enough content for those two days. This is my Notion calendar for my nail business, and basically it's planned out all my content. And so we have a YouTube tracker, it's a must calendar. TikTok is mainly what I use. What's so great about it, you can, see, you can see the calendar view of when things need to be uploaded. We have three different statuses. So we have platform, which is TikTok, and you can edit it for YouTube, TikTok, and IG Reels. And the status, to put idea to film, film, edited, and uploaded. Idea is basically just an idea you have to film is things I need to like create. Obviously, edit and upload. But when it comes uploaded, so here's another view of the notion and once this becomes uploaded it disappears from the view so it's out of sight out of mind and basically i also put it into another view i linked the database into another view so i can focus on i need to hide this so i can focus on what to film specifically so this i can sh i can see which one i've edited which one i've filmed which one is still an idea stage and there's a lot that's like no status i haven't put any status yet and this is basically what i focus on the most in like in like i need to film this products i mean this video idea so that's basically my content calendar Hi, my content in terms of content idea generation, I do a lot of research on TikTok to see what goes well with TikTok, what works well for the audiences, and basically there are some video ideas that you can repeat constantly. So I'll give you an example. So basically, with my business creating that I sell Simiku journal stickers, it comes in the kit. And this is my current nails right now, they're so pretty. I love them so much and they kind of match the effort that I'm going for right now and the aesthetic that I'm going for. A little section called ideas to repeat and those are make that I will constantly get reviews. So that is ASMR of me like putting the nails on. So that's one video I can repeat, like a business vlog to talk ideas. I say how easy it is to do your nails at home with semi-code journals how we should stop wasting money by going to the salon and we can save money by doing these nails at home so i can i'm constantly kind of creating videos with the same message and the thing about content creation is obviously the biggest downfall with these nails is that it's a one use product so once i use it the product is gone and in terms of content creation i don't want to be constantly taking nails off and using it constantly just for content because i feel like it's a waste so anytime i film i basically export it to another place to a big folder where i can reuse again for content so there's a lot of times you see on my tiktok account i kind of post videos that kind of have the same like content but i like re reframe or recreate it so I have multiple, I can make multiple content with the content that I created. And that makes sense because that's one of the biggest drawbacks for, in terms of my content. Because um, once I use a product, obviously I can't reuse it. I'm constantly just changing my nails 
there was a lot of stuff that I'm wasting on content creation. This is very different from my last business I had. I had Truly and I think Truly is just very easy to create content because you can just keep one of your stock and then you can just constantly use that as the basis of your content. It makes sense, like the product itself. These obviously they're, they're one use. It's literally so crazy but I actually just filmed like five, six, five, six TikToks on my nail business just talking and showing my nails. So I actually need to edit that soon. Did because before I was I would have struggled to think of what to say and basically all what I said when making these videos they literally just flowed. I think because I'm getting more used to creating content content for my nail business and I'm kind of remembering the benefits of my product more so it just rolls off my tongue more easier i'm getting to know my product even better and because of that because i know the benefits of the product of using the nail stickers i'm able to kind of like pick up quickly what i want to say it just rolls so easily which is amazing because i am just managed to create so much content and it's literally just me talking and showing my nails and I love my nails so much.